We can dream on playing street hockey. It is game seven, and it's here. Two teams looking start for a win, and we are set to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Moves it on over to Thomas. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Slides the puck across to Camper. And now it's over to Doan. Sends it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Dell's made a big save early in the frame here. And that's really important to reset and refocus coming off that blowout loss in that play. Scores! And quick as a hiccup there on the board here. One. Well, that's a dream start, James, and it's one they were looking for. You want to come out, you want to get out front, and you want to dictate pace. I love the way the shooter gets lost in the coverage and really quiet in the weeds of the ice here, James. As the puck's below the goal line, you can see him moving to make himself available. And right, right when the time is right, that distribution comes right to him. Puck on his stick, he lets it go for the tally. The Rain have been the hungrier team, and look at this, they've already got a lead here early in the first. James, I like the aggressive play and the style that they started this game with. They're building momentum, and they did it. Shift after shift, and then, hey, you gotta capitalize when you get the chance, and they did it. Denied by the puck stopper. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Lots of time left in this period. Ontario's ahead, 1-0. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. That is why hockey players are warriors. What a block. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Passes it over to Doty. Looking to make something happen along the board. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. They've got numbers. Moves it to the middle. James to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter. But what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home. The Roadrunners take control of the faceoff. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Picked off by Udall. Feeds it across the ice to Fegamo. And he takes the pass. Hicketts works the puck in his own zone. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Grabs the puck. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Ontario's got a hold of the puck now. Let's it rip! And that goes off course off a of body. Quick pass to Houdon. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Oh, this is the minute. What a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you got to figure he's going to put one by the tendy. Ontario's got it against the boards. Fires it on net. This is the net, you know you want that one. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, this is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. The rain have broken the deadlock here in the first and have the lead. Well, when you have a quick strike and you get the go-ahead goal, you want to stay on the puck. You know that the entire staff is going to be telling the bench, let's keep it going, stay on the puck. Let's try and stretch this out. Quick feed to Pinelli. Bomiak's well, been so dangerous tonight, James. He's got the go-ahead goal, and he's got the puck on his stick now. Into the attacking end. Moves it to Agnabucci. Directed over to Kromiak. Away. Stick feed. 
Gains the zone through the middle. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Five Grabs eight. it in his own end. Now he takes it over the line. Puts it on in. Trapper saved. Didn't get all of it, but still enough. Moves into the slot. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Still lots of time left in the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Ontario's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Slides the puck over. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Jennings playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going. And when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Penalty coming up here. Uh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing, and you wind up in the box. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Takes a lot, but still hangs on. Centering feed! Great defensive play to pick off the pass. And a successful clearing attempt. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. It looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Here's a shot. And let's see what the call is. The rain have been penalized. They'll serve two in the box. The Roadrunners with a two-man advantage power play coming up. Two-player advantage, five on three, so much room available. Sometimes you can get lulled along the perimeter and look for the perfect pass. Sometimes you just gotta fire the puck. They move the puck out of harm's way. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Puck picked up in the open ice. The Roadrunners gain control of it. Takes a shot. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Maddox's penalty has expired, but they remain shorthanded, and he joins the kill. Great pass from off the right side. Center and feed! This is it off again here! Oh, and he keeps it here! Loose puck battle along the boards. And loses possession after a solid hit. They'll want to clear the zone here while they try to kill off this penalty. And they get the puck out. The rain have the puck against the boards. Houdon's got it on the offensive end. The Roadrunners looking against the half wall. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Through pass ahead. Tucson's got it in their own zone. The Roadrunners take it along the wing. And that pass is redirected. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Here in the back half of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Roadrunners move it ahead. Poked away at center by Santini. Ontario's got the puck in the defensive end. Here we go, pucks in deep. Takes the feed. Tucson's got it across the line. Huge steal at his own end. Ontario's looking to break out. Fires it into the offensive zone. Scoops up the puck now. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Ontario's got a hold of the puck. 
Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here's a shot. Turned aside with the glove by Belalta. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. And they win the offensive zone face-off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Scrum along the wall. A chance in front! And he denies that great opportunity there. From the right side, they gain the zone. Oh, look at the pass! Takes the feed at the point. With the puck under siege, can he get out of the zone here? Here they come, down the left side on the attack. Fires it, and the traffic neutralizes that threat. The Roadrunners move the puck in the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Dumps it in. Great pressure on the offensive end by Leonard. Nice zone entry from the middle. Quick shot! with the save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we got a tie game. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Udall. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You're taking your third penalty of the period. You gotta kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. The Roadrunners send their men advantage unit out once more. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they gotta find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Takes the feed. Ontario's got it in their own zone. And they move the puck out of harm's way. And there's a blocker stop by Belota. Nothing. You gotta get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on that. Not good enough. Answer the call on that play. The Roadrunners take it along the wall. Sends a pass over. Comes up with the stop. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Kenix at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. The Roadrunners win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Across the line from center. There's a shot! standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Ontario's gone up by one after that goal here in the first. Well, yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset. You got a little bit of jump to your step. You're more confident. Now you got to attack. You got to push when your opponent's down. Doty's almost ready to get back on the ice. Tucson's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. I didn't like anything about that. Score! So that was a beauty. A pair of goals just 20 seconds apart. Quick response back to back here, and the team is humming. Yeah, and talk about putting your opponent on their heels. Ontario's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. The Roadrunners win the faceoff. There's the horn for period number one as it comes to an end. We've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. Stay with us. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. 
left in this one as period number two gets underway. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Ontario has been so dialed in to start this game, James. They've got a healthy two-goal lead, and the reason why, they've been aggressive on the puck. And when they have the opportunity to drive the net and get the shot off, they are. And that's hooked away. Takes the pass. Shuts him down. The backhander. Oh, it's another save on the play. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Into the offensive zone. And look at this. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here. Ontario's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Kenneth's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, what a stop with the pad by Dell. Lots of time left in this period. Ontario's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. The Roadrunners take possession here inside the offensive zone. Ontario's got the puck in their own end. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Point blank stop by Walter. Now over to McGregor. All alone. Here's a pass in front. And he ups to backtrack here in the play. Puck picked up by Udall. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Walter's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Ontario's been firing on all cylinders here early in this second period, and they continue to lead this one. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Oh, what a save by Bonetta! We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Centers gliding up to the face-off dots here. Ontario's got it in the offensive zone. And that's a great heads-up play by Leonard. From the neutral zone now. Shot! It's in! He scores! Well, he gets beat clean by the shot, James, and he's only one player in front of the net, but it's not about how many, it's about where you are, and when you take away the eyes of the gender, this is exactly what can happen. Tucson's looked way more engaged since the start of this period, Cheryl, and now they're starting to get some of the rewards. Well, you can certainly feel the energy. There's two trains of thought here. There's a physical side and there's the emotional side of the game. Both are connected for them right now. Along the half wall with the puck. They score! And what a counter punch they serve up! Well, you said a counter punch. You know the coach is going to love this, this quick timely response when you look down your bench you got to know that there's personnel that can go out there and provide some energy for your team they just did it Ontario's now up by two here in the second they've really pushed the pace this entire game James it's gonna be a question as to whether they can really close it out and their first few strides have been urgent that tells me they've been prepared right from puck drop moves the puck over to Leonard Here's a pass in front. Nobody comes up with a stop. Can't keep a hold of it. Here's a short pass to Leonard. And makes the save. Dell's got to reset mentally and find his game here. I mean, his team's playing really well in front of him. It's the reason why they have the lead. It certainly hasn't been for his efforts between the pipe, but that save has to give him some confidence. He needs to settle in and start making more. And they win the draw on their own end. Great pressure with the stick. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. The run of the puck in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Madden. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And it's a fancy forward to kick it over to his teammate. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play and comes up with the puck. And it's a quick pass to Thomas. Taken here by Madden. Takes a shot. Opportunity and it just climbed over the net there. I thought it was in. Well, I thought it was in as well, James. Now he is all around the puck doing all of the details and how it's right. He's gonna cash in at some point. 
Santini stick handling in his own zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. Takes the feet at the back end. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Moves it quickly over to Doan. The Roadrunners play it along the wing. From point blank, comes up with a monster save in front. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Raise it, Big raise time glove save by Voltar. Ontario's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Picked up along the boards by Jennick. Jody's got it in the defensive end. Tucson's gained possession. Looks to get the puck over to McCartney. The Roadrunners carry it along the wall. From the back of the cage with the puck. Let's it go. And that's broken up. Fagamos taking it from his own end. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Handles the pass. Here they come on the attack. Here's a chance. Love save made by Dell. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Well past the midway mark of this period, Ontario's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead at 5-3. Grabs the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Scooped up along the wall by Pinelli. They've got numbers here. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Slides the pass over to McGregor. McGregor's got it along the wing. And that's deflected off someone in front. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. Palladius has it in their own end. Pamela's got the puck in his own zone. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Leonard's got it against the boards. Here's the puck. Oh, the blocker stuck by Dell. Handles the puck. Sends it in deep. Tucson's got the puck along the boards. Passes over to Smith. Tucson's got it along the wall. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. The Roadrunners win it. Breaks up the play by getting in front of it. Fires it into the offensive zone. And some good footwork to kick it away. Great pass from the left wing. Quick pass to Leonard. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Ontario's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Quick feed to Hudson. Shot! And he has the answer on that one. And he comes up big again. Here in the late goings of the period, no shortage of offense on display tonight on the ice. It's a 5-3 game. The Roadrunners have it now. Hooked away and forces the turnover at center. Sent into the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Drew. McCartney swooping in on the attack. To his teammate! And denied by the goaltender. Moves it to Tynan. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. He's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it. And the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by him. He's on his way down. He's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on that. That's tenacity at its best. Oh, excellent play and goal there. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. And 
they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. The Rain have it on the attack. Taken along the wall by Tyler. Big time stop. Loka has been outstanding, tracking pucks and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. Here's a short pass to Higgins. Oh, and the stick falls on the play. Well, and that's a tough one, James, when you're in a prime scoring area and you have to get back to the bench as quick as possible. So you go from being there and then being at the bench. It works. Great reach with the poke check by Connaughton. The Rain have taken possession along the wall. Connaughton's lugging the puck. Throws it in. Sends it quickly to Leonard. He carries the puck up along the wing. Puts it in deep. Ontario's gained possession along the boards. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. All right, fans, time for tonight's Lucky Road giveaway. Congratulations to Section 107, Row F. Each fan receives a limited edition player's T-shirt. And fans, don't forget to purchase your player T-shirt tonight only at our team store. minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams and we're ready to go. There's been no shortage of firepower after the first 40 minutes and we are underway here in the third. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Ice Hogs have done a lot of things well through 40 minutes of play, James. There's no need to panic. I mean, they've owned possession time here. It's just a matter of converting on their opportunities. Goals got it in the offensive zone. Dell's got the puck, and we'll get a whistle here with a stoppage of play. Well, and this is a smart play, James. He's made huge saves all throughout the game, and this is a smart decision to be able to preserve the lead. He knows exactly where he's at, and he gets a much-needed face-off. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Nice poke check. Ontario's got the puck in the defensive end. Gains the zone. Shot, and the puck banks off the glove. Grabbed along the board by Santini. Sends it out front. What a chance, but that goes off target off a of body in front. The Wayne have possession along the boards. 
Knott, who's had the puck on his stick for a great portion of this game so far, James. He's creating, he's had a multi-point night, and it's not done yet. The Roadrunners gain control of the puck against the wall. Point-to-point pass. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Moves up ahead here in the neutral zone. The Rain have the puck in their own end. The Roadrunners take over on possession. Quick shot. Brilliant save. Run it perfectly. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Ontario's got a two-goal cushion here. They lead it 5-3. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Ontario's moving it along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Doty. Change up, Knocked change away. Up. Feeds the puck over to Smith. Gaining momentum up along the side. No for that shot to go through. And that pass goes off a stick. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Tucson's got a hold of it along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Smith. Stones him in front. Tucson's got it now. And he keeps that one out. Sends it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Possession on their own end. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Ontario's third line is really showing it tonight. They're feeling it, James, and this is really critical. When you look down your lineup and you know that you've got kind of depth in that attack. Takes that pass back to the point. Oh, denied on the play! Wow! Oh, the true competitors say just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. While fans being treated to some offensive fireworks, it's a 5-3 game. Tucson's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Pelota's last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Hansen's moving it ahead. Fantastic save! It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. And he makes the save on that play. And sends it just out of reach. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Quick feed to McGregor. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. The Rain have put themselves down a man tripping the call. The Roadrunners once again send out their power play unit. Power play chance right here and an opportunity to redeem themselves after that shorty they gave up earlier. Ontario's got possession here in their own end. Trying to clear. And they clear the zone and that'll shake some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive, close quickly on the puck. And they get it down the ice. Takes the shot. That's on the stick. Tucson's got a hold of the puck now. McGregor's got it deep in the offensive end. And he's got that one. Centering pass! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Oh, and he goes off the outside of the post. Ontario's players on the bench are shaking their head. They can't believe that didn't go in. They thought they had extended the cushion to their lead, but unfortunately it hit the post and out. Good hit to pump him off the puck. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back in even strength. That's 
That's a great job by the TK unit, James, protecting the lead late in the game, finding a way to get it done, and that's exactly what they needed to do. Just keep it simple and sit with the lead. Past the midway mark of the frame, it's a two-goal game with a 5-3 score. Pass scooped up by Drew. Blocked in traffic, and he's knocked off the puck there. Ontario's looking to break out. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Tucson's got the puck against the boards. Reaches out and pokes it away. Tucson's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. The Roadrunners win the faceoff. Readying here for the faceoff. Ontario's won the draw. Tosses it to Houdon. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Tucson's got control of it now from their own end. On that rush. Sends it over. Oh, what a great save by Ontario. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. From the point, looks to make something happen. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Get it out of there. Moves it to Smith. They go on the attack to the center. Fires it on net. And a great save. Quick try. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Takes possession right off the draw. Receives the pass. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Well, he's got such a thick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. We got a delay penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. Russell blows, stopping the play. I could almost predict this charging call before it happened, James, because he came from a long way to make that hit. Opportunity knocking as the man advantage unit takes to the ice. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Oh, he got hit by a straight train there. What a collision. Tucson's got the puck. Oh, tough save by Dell. Tynan's ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Roadrunners win that offensive zone face-off. Centering in front. Misses the net. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. That's some smart heads-up defensive play by Madden. When you're trailing in the game, sometimes you try and do too much. Scores! Well, putting the special in special teams. It's a power play tally. Well, it's all about specialty teams, and it often makes a difference. And right now, execution and they found a way to attack the net that's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up James I mean you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage you open up the middle of the ice and then you get a glorious shot chance and you capitalize excellent work the rain have put in a complete effort tonight and I mean, we're close to the finish line now here, Cheryl, but wow, they have really looked dominant. They have, and they've had the killer instinct. Sometimes when you get a healthy lead, you can take the foot off the gas pedal, but they're not. They're going for it right to the end. Oh, and here's the pass. Ontario's got the puck. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Ontario's crossed the line and on the attack. Here's the pass. Scores! And look who's at it again. Game. Too bad you can't bottle these games up and just recall them whenever you want because he's been all around the net. 
I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. The rain has shown no let up here in this third period, continuing to accelerate forward. When you look up at the scoreboard, it's lopsided, and for good reason, James. They've dominated the play. I mean, it has been tilted in one direction in their favor. They've known when to attack the net. They've been so strong on the puck, and you know that the coach is going to be thrilled with this one. Moves it to Fegamo. Great use of the stick at center by Kemper. Pushes it across to Hebe. Comes up with the stop. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Tucson's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And there's the save. Battling for the puck but still hangs on. Slides it over with pace to Houdon. This one-sided affair front. The Roadrunners will play it in their own end. Forces the turnover and comes up with the puck. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. And he's ridden off the puck. Here he is, shot right in front. Can't get it to go. Back to the point it goes. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. And he's going to pounce on it for the whistle and get a stoppage in play and much needed at that. Can't overstate how timely important that this cover is, James. When you're on your heels and you're chasing the game, you need a reset button. Goaltender allows it to happen. McGregor's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. A great team effort, and they're moving on as a result. Fire it! Fire it! A very business-like approach to the squad's mindset tonight, Cheryl. And as a result, they come away with the win, and they're moving on. Well, they're moving on up, aren't they, James? And, you know, it's really important to celebrate the moment. You just clinched a series. But you got to move forward pretty quick because you got to start preparing for the next round. See you down the road real soon as we say goodbye here from ringside tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.